Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Jiren. It's reveal season. Um, Ryan and Pavel uh, revealed a couple of the Scoia'tael cards in a neutral. If you haven't checked out the video, go to the Plague Gwent uh, YouTube page. They do a reveal for it. Um, they always do a good job with those. Um, I really like these cards. I think... I'm, I'm really excited to see how this all plays out now that the whole expansion is going to be um, put together now with the third and final piece, uh, 7.3 coming soon. So uh, October 3rd, 5th, October 5th. Um, so let's uh, let's check out these cards. Uh, first one up is uh, Phil Evandrel. Um, really excited for this card. Um I like the way it, it kind of plays like it used to in beta, because I'm pretty sure he played specials. It, correct me if I'm wrong, I forget. It's been so long. Um, we've been playing Gwen for so long. <laughs> so long, so many different cards. Uh, but he's 4 strength, 12 provisions. Deploy melee, create and play a Scoia'tael special card with a provision cost equal to this unit's power. So you can get it pretty close with uh, the options that you got or deploy range create and play a scoia'tael special card with a provision cost equal to or lower than this unit's power so you can max out and get a 12 or something else since it's create or is it all just random you get what you get if you play it ranged it seems like it seems like ranged is the the super RNG version and the melee controls it a little bit more with the hand buff. Um, looking at the cards, I mean, you got to buff it by eight to get waters. I mean, I, I don't see anybody playing waters. I could see maybe shaping nature. You need five. That's a, that's a circle and a leader charge. If you're playing guerrilla tactics, um, more orbs, six, so you only got to bu buff it by two. So if you get the, um, what's his name down and can get the orb on it and then play another orb, then play Simless and play some more orbs, <laughs> you can have orbs for days. Um, I like that it gives you the ability to possibly pull your thinning cards though with Call or Isengrim. I like that a lot. Um, I don't know if you want to just be playing it for rebukes and stuff, but it is what it is, I guess. If you need to play it, you need to play it. Um, double trap seems like a super meme if you want to buff by 12 and uh, get double Jorvet's Gambit back-to-back -back turns. That seems uh, pretty hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure someone will do it. Uh, I like the card, though. I, I just like the ability to possibly um, play Call or Isengrim. Um, it looks like Dwarfs maybe are getting a little bit of synergy with the location, too. But I don't know if you want to be playing these cards, um, Justice and stuff like that, with a random elf. Um, but maybe you could play Double Waters. Is that possible? If you have um what's her name down francesca you could play double waters in one turn and no i don't know do you get i don't think you get uh yeah you do because they're nature cards uh with alls or two um that seems like a hell of meme though but more than likely you're going to try for either orbs or one of these uh thinning tools uh, really cool card. I always like this elf. Um, it seems like it's it's going to be a fun card to play. You know, you're probably going to play it with a similar, you know, location or uh, scenario and simless um, straight elves. So it seems like a lot of fun. I'm excited. Um, this card seems pretty crazy too. Being able to uh, play these um, oh we're not typing these aren't specials alright so Bountiful Harvest this was the one art that they leaked during the um, one open 
I'm sure this premium is going to be fantastic. Uh, um, so it's a special six provisions. So another one you could pull with uh, what's his name, uh, Phil Evandrel. So they're adding to the pool on what he can pull and can't pull. Uh, create and play a bronze Dolbathana elf. Then, depending on the position of chosen unit, boost the leftmost random or rightmost unit in your hand. So the the create's gonna proc three of these options. I'm sure there's gonna be one more. Um, you're gonna see with uh, probably the either bronze or uh, well. It's either going to be the rare or the common, but another one of these will be a Dolbathana, almost guaranteed. Um, but uh, getting to play possibly another uh, Sorceress or uh, Whisperer can be huge, um, especially in that spell deck with the Spellatel options. So I think this card's pretty good. Uh, six provisions is kind of high, but... Um, Possibly being able to spawn it with I, I still think I'm, I'm still unsure what you want to spawn with that Phil Evangel. I'm pretty sure you just go with more orbs because it's carryover um, But uh, getting a body on the board possible engine more um, Gord support Gord's gonna be in the if you max him out the correct way with This in your deck, you know, he's gonna be at like in the 1921 range now with the specials, um, maybe even higher with uh, Phil Evandro. I'm not sure how you build that deck. If you, I don't think you can skip over the the scenario because I think you need that to get last say. Because if you don't have last say with Gord, you're just uh, you're playing Agalus with extra steps, basically. So, um, I like this card. I think I I I think it's a one of. I don't know if you double up on him, but. Being able to get these possibility of getting these um, mages can be huge, I think. Uh, and then the last one is a neutral location, the Mushy Truffle. Um, this looks like it's going to be a fun premium. And I guess this is one of the guys on the dev team, which is always cool. I like to see them get, uh, get their face put on a card. They deserve it, man. All the stuff they... Uh, do for the game and dude's puking over here <laughs> and I guess this is his cat too which is really cool um, but um, so it's nine provisions so it is kind of expensive um, deploy spawn and play a bonded unit from your starting deck um, order spawn and play golden froth um, so Spawn and play so does it play two units or does it just play one seems like it should play two I don't know if you want to just play a card for a four that doesn't seem like it's Any good so you could put this in there with Let's go with all and Bonded And we'll just go uh Faction by faction, I guess. Uh, neutrals, it's just the caravan. Not that great. Um, I guess it plays for... It just plays for... Six... And nine. Fifteen? Fifteen for nine. You could play some... Uh, no, these aren't shielded. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem like an option. Maybe if you get it in, like, a early on as a starter player. I mean, that, that seems pretty good. A 15 for 9. I mean. Uh, monsters. Bonded. Whoops. So, Plumbered. You get two Plumbereds. So, that's 4, 8, and 6 Bleeding. Bleeding can be kind of slow so probably not an option uh the harpy though that's uh ten thirteen right and it gives you an engine egg that you eat so you get it off the bat so you get fifteen right from 
so it would play it would spawn this play another one the other one would play spawn an egg and you would get another one so it's 15 and then you set up automatically the froth for three across for nine wow that seems pretty viable i'm sure it'll probably end up in a viable deck <laughs> uh, let's see nilf guard they don't have anything really magni division you're not going to do that it's too slow uh, Pikeman doesn't seem like an option either. So, Nilfgaard gets the short end of the stick on the, uh, the mushy truffle here. Um, Cintron Enchantress, another one similar to the Vampire. Not really worth it. Um, the poor fucking infantry. So, it would be five... And five is ten and three. And then you also too can play the golden froth for sure on this. So this is a draug type deal. Um seems like it could be an option. And they did change how draug works, so you can pick the row. So maybe draug gets brought back in. Uh, Marauder, same thing with the the vampire and the other one might be a little bit better if you're playing it with um, tempering, but not really. This one doesn't seem that great either because um, it's 5 and then 7, 12. It doesn't even put the extra body on the board for the froth, so probably not. Skellige. Now that might be an option. Um, Gedneath, you already kind of play. You don't really play um, Devotion in this deck. This seems hella slow. Um, and you have to have the beasts on the board, so that's not an option. Um, the Preacher, though, that could be huge. On one turn, you could proc the scenario on one turn, correct? Well, no, because it spawns. The first one doesn't count. But playing a bunch of these in one turn, and it's somewhat playable. I think Spiro got it up to almost 2,600 uh, uh, with uh, Melusine and stuff. So maybe. Seems like it's okay. And then uh, Syndicate's going to be Seductresses, right? There's a uh, Lackeys. Horse and Senior Lackeys and more Lackeys. And then boosting them. Seductresses seems okay with Passiflora. But, I mean, like, unless Line Pockets gets changed, you're not going to be playing this. Like, why would you play this over a drill that gets you, you know, 20-something points on a on a bountied, uh, a bountied target? It's like... If, if Drill gets changed next patch, which I'm sure it is, because the play rate's got to be through the roof with it. Um, maybe we maybe Syndicate goes back to Passive Floor. I think, though, if they go back to Passive Floor, it's going to be kind of slow. Um, they're probably going to be back to when it was when Hidden Cash got nerfed and no one played Syndicate. Because it's just going to be too slow. But... Um, Cool card. I, I like it a lot. It seems like it's it's almost always going to play for its um, full value. I mean, and you can, you literally could play just a one of if you don't brick it. Um, I guess you can keep, why would you play one of though? Because you could keep, keep the bonded going. But yeah, super cool card. And then uh, also too, uh, we found out who the leader skin was. Um. It's the Witch Hunter. Uh, she looks pretty great. I. Uh, it's kind of weird that she's a universal skin, I guess, because she's a Syndicate card, but I don't know. Um, I like that she's got this, like, cane going on. Um, I was hoping for Vilgefortz, to be honest, but I'll take it. Looks cool. Um, the first... Uh, the first person on the team, dev team, to or just 
the CDPR team in general, because I think this is their HR partner or something, which is hilarious. Uh, but uh, first one to get a leader skin, that's got to be a huge honor. So really cool. Uh, I'm going to try to do these every day. Um, not sure if I'm going to do any deck videos uh, during reveal season. We'll see. I'll do a couple, but... Uh, and I might, uh, I might start a free-to-play account just to see how it is to climb with, uh, just starting out for Gwent. Because, um, it seems like the people that, uh, currently play Gwent have just played it forever. There, it, it seems like there's not as many new people coming into the game. So, like, I used to get comments all the time, like, oh, I'm new, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I'm gonna try and, uh, maybe do a free-to-play account and see how I do with it, but thank you guys so much for everything, man. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more ST reveals.